If you use the computer long enough, you're going to get a problem. My Windows Vista media player wasn't working well. I was trying to play some movie files and I had problem. This is the media player playing my media file after I fixed it. So the first thing I thought of was uh, maybe the files got corrupted. Maybe I'll download another media player software from Microsoft and that would be it. But when I went to their website, uh, they don't have that option to download a media player for Vista because it's included in Vista. So what to do? So the next thing that came to mind was uh, to restore um, So the next thing that came to mind was to use system restore to restore to um, a set point. I figure it's probably the Windows update or some software update like Flash that would uh, give me a problem. So I use system restore and that's what you can do. Uh, you can find System Restore in Vista or XP, usually under Accessories, System Tools. And down here you see System Restore. You click on that and they'll ask you for permission to continue. And then it brings up your System Restore dialog box. Now you're asking me how come uh, you don't have some kind of software to uh, do this kind of video recording. Well I don't really want to download a lot of these softwares. That's where you get your virus. So you have to bear with me. I'm using just a direct recording of the monitor screen. So this is your system restore and now you can choose where or the date you want to restore it to. You can undo your system restore from before also. So I click choose a different restore point and it gives you a list of the dates that you can restore back to. It also shows you when the system updated Windows. You see here 424 install Windows update. Well when they do that sometimes you can have a problem. So what I did was I chose a much older restore point because I didn't know when the problem got started. So down here you see you can click on show restore points older than five days so this gives me all the way back to April 5th so that's what I chose. So for me April 5th was the oldest I can go back because I didn't configure the computer I didn't give it enough space on the hard drive to uh, provide for a uh, different restore point maybe you can set it up to March if you give it enough space but I didn't do that actually for Vista you have to go into the command prompt to to uh, do the setting it's a little bit complicated but for my purpose I just went back to April 5th uh, if you want to find out more about how to create a a longer or older restore point you can google it uh, it's slightly different from Vista, uh, Windows 7 and XP is a little easier to uh, increase the restore points. So what you do is uh, select a date 
and then click next and then click finish and that would be it and then your computer would restart and the thing is sometimes it doesn't restart properly because there might be something wrong and your computer would attempt to fix whatever files or problems you have automatically and you will be back in business now if for some reason it doesn't do that then that's where your backup disk comes in you have to have your set of startup disk handy and be ready to uh, use your startup disk to recover your system you can also uh, restart your uh, system restore manually you can when the computer is booting up you can go into save mode and that is basically you press F8 before Windows starts you go into save mode and do the system restore manually uh, at that point so you can do that if it doesn't restart properly and if that doesn't work you have to use your startup disk so be aware of that when you do your system restore but so far when I use system restore it works it goes back to a previous point and after you restore your computer it will probably work now since I restore the computer back all the way to April 5th the computer will automatically start doing the Windows update again and if you suspect something Windows is doing to your computer with the updates you can check every time you finish updating check all your programs to see if they run and if they don't run then you know that update is giving you a problem you might want to check what what was updated with that particular update and don't update that particular part of it because you you have an option to choose what to update and what not to update and if everything goes all right it could be it could be a uh, software that you downloaded that antivirus software that you downloaded from before from somewhere so I was going to actually tell you before you run the system restore you should do a virus scan to make sure that you don't have a virus that usually is a problem when some or a lot of your programs don't run and the virus program that I use is may may not be a great one but that's the one that comes with uh, Windows and that's the Windows uh, Windows Defender so this is this is the Windows Defender you can get it from Microsoft they have different versions of it for different operating system but I would trust this more than all the others antivirus software out there I think they should probably call them virus software rather than antivirus software when you download those you might not be able to get rid of it so I would start with something from Windows run your Windows uh, spam or malware or antivirus software first before you do your system restore and then as Windows ups update the computer you check to see if all your software runs properly and especially for any software that you download on the internet for free that most likely will give you your problem so hopefully um, this will work for you